so welcome to the video so in this video we're going to be replacing the chain on the wabi it does need a new chain just barely but i'm going to show you guys how to check if your chain is worn when i think you should replace it versus we're going to go over how expensive the chain is how often you ride it and just a couple of the tools and things i have that are going to make replacing a chain a lot easier so without any further ado let's get right into it and this camera angle is kind of weird to work with we do need a new chain you're gonna need a chain breaker now this usually has a pin in it and what happens is you put the chain in here and you end up pushing it but i actually broke the pin a little while ago and the local bike shop actually had some extra pins i was pretty surprised they had this but uh you could see pretty pretty expensive product right there but we're going to put one in there it's nice that they come in a pack of two. Oh, and here you go so the pin just kind of screws in right there. So we're gonna do that. And then you really don't need this, but it's not an expensive tool. And it's pretty easy to use. It's a park tool chain checker. And if you do a lot of maintenance on your own bike and a lot of preventative maintenance especially, then I think this is a good investment to have. I really recommend this. All the links to this stuff will be in the description. First, we gotta get the bike up in the repair stand. All right, we're all set, ready to go. Pardon the attire. I just got home from work and I was doing kind of a crawl around, crawling around on the floor type job today. So I got grease stains on my shirt, on my pants. I just wanted to get this done because I've been meaning to do this for a couple of weeks. So first things first, we're gonna go over how to check the chain. All right, so the way that you use this is you put this and this in first, hold it right there. And you see over here, so it can fit right in there. It can't fit all the way through like that. That would, the chain would definitely need replacing if that was the case. But online the instructions say you're supposed to, over here, you're supposed to squeeze that part and then you're supposed to try to put it in. And this is worn to half. It's got half the life worn or it's halfway worn through. If it was 0.75, then at that point pretty much there's only 25% life left in it. I'd imagine. I'm not too sure. I'm just kind of guessing right now. So the chain's halfway through, but like I said, this chain's been on here for the better part of three years. We've got a brand new one sitting in the garage forever. So let's go ahead and change it. But first, we're going to have to connect these two so that way we can actually use it. Pretty simple. This just screws in like so. Might not be a bad idea to get a pair of pliers for this. Okay. Get our needle nose pliers. Makes life much easier. There we go. We're on there. And just cool. Just realized we gotta be really careful. We don't want to drop anything down there. I'm gonna roll the dice because I like to live dangerously. But if you guys are in this situation, just take risks at your own risk. Take risks at your own risk. Yeah, let's go with that. So now the chain fits right in there. Check that out. Now what we're gonna do, we wanna make sure this is straight. This is how I broke the pin at first. Okay. You guys see how that pin's sitting right against there? It's sitting right against the chain pins. You see how the chain has a bunch of these pins inside the rollers? So we want it to be pressing as straight as possible. And we're just gonna gently push it through. Feel a bit of resistance. Okay. See how it's pushing the chain out a little bit? It's pushing that, that center pin out a little bit. That's what we want. So we're going to continue. And you guys should feel a lot of resistance at this point. Because we don't this, this can't come apart easily. Because then you, you're riding a bicycle. You don't want the chain to just fall apart on you. That should be good. This is what we're left with. See how the chain's popping out like that? chain the pin I mean and there we go old chain off we do need to loosen this up a little bit all right let's connect this up now now the chain is together before you do this make sure the chain is very nice and straight 
and you don't get little circles like that, that's kind of a pain. Just make sure you don't have that, make sure it goes on nice and straight, just makes life a little bit easier. Now we're going to reverse the process. It's got to go there. Let it fall in right there. Now we just want to go very slow. We want to make sure that this is as straight as possible. Should just go right in. There we go. We want to make sure it's nice and even. Check that out. Brand new chain on the bicycle. I have to give credit to my buddy Zach Gallardo. I used to say his name Gallardo, but I think it's Zach Gallardo. He said how to tension a chain is you loosen it, that's too tight. What you do is you just kind of push in a little bit right there. That part looks good. This up. Let's go around. Okay. And you guys notice how I'm turning the wheel and I have my hand of the chain, but I'm turning, look how slow I'm turning the wheel. I'm not just going like that and sticking my finger right there. On a fixed gear bicycle or on a single speed bicycle when the wheel's going back, very dangerous, very easy to lose a finger if you just throw something right in there. Particularly right here, right around here, no good, don't do it. Anyway, this looks good. I'll have to send it to the brakes next time before my ride, but that's super easy with rim brakes. One of the greatest things of rim brakes, how simple they are. So we're ready to roll. So guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. I have a couple of more things I want to do with this bike. I think I'm thinking about turning it into a single speed, believe it or not. Um, also have some gravel tires on it right now. 28s, nothing too crazy. Just to kind of broaden the use that I could get out of the bike. Because I do enjoy the bike, but when it comes summertime, I don't ride it. I'm riding my road bike a lot more. Anyway, as always, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, talk to you soon. Bye.